Right. So this is a certain type of question where you're given not enough information, I suppose, just to work it out. And you're given two pairs of variables and nothing else. So I'm given a speed twice and I'm asked to find out the second radius given the first radius. Um, I call it a scaling question, but I'm sure there's a better word for it. Um, so let's start by looking at the relationship between R and V. Um, we've got a clue here that the friction remains constant and the friction for a car moving in a circle will be MV squared over R, the centripetal force. Now they've told us that the friction is constant and that the mass is constant as well. And therefore we can say that um, if I move the radius up to the other side, R is proportional to V squared. So by whatever factor I change V, I will square it for R. So for example, if V doubles, then R will multiply by four. If V triples, R will multiply by nine. So what is V doing? Well, V is actually multiplying from 25 to 49. So it's multiplying by 49 over 25. Um, so it becomes 49 over 25th of the original. So what's R going to do? Well, that's going to be 49 25ths squared times the original. And I can work that out. That's going to be 49 over 25 all squared times the original radius, which is 20. And that works out to 76.8 meters.